So again, so this is how to do the uh, standing. Okay, how to stand properly at the front. So if it is on side, that's that. Then not too far. Let's make a check. Okay, so the stance is over there. Okay, follow the scroll. Violin scroll. slow part Okay, so the acoustic part of the violin, okay, this is the acoustic made from wood, okay, so as you remember, this is the back, huh? so this is the bass, no? the violin, uh, without, without the shoulder pad, okay, shoulder pad. As you can see, mid clavicular line over here, and where I put it, okay, just like this, and over here. Do not lock it with your head, or uh, putting upward your left uh, shoulder. Just put it like that, and then it goes. It will follow. Maintain it straight, okay. And it maintains it. Your left foot forward will follow the scroll. This one. Okay? So, where the scroll is, your left foot will go there. Pointed. Your weight must go here in your left. All the weight must stay here. Okay? So that there is a uh, balance. You balance here, over here. Okay? Your target can go here, but mostly here. Okay? There's a lot of information about it. Okay, 
So, with shoulder shoulder pad. Uh, so, this shoulder pad is uh, different from the other one. Okay, I hope I can read the label. It's so gone. But I will find it. Uh, it's made from Netherlands. Okay. Okay. So, let me attach it first. So how to attach it? Like this, no? First this, and then you just slide it. First this, and then you just slide it like that. Okay? So if you're using a vintage violin, be careful, huh? Okay. Again, oh, so I guess wrong. Oh, again, so. Okay. So I just uh, modified this because this is very old. So as you can see, as you can see, the this is for the anterior part. Uh, this is for the surface of my shoulder, anterior part of my chest. Yeah. Okay. So like that. Okay. So I already adapt using without pads. I really like the other one pads this is uh, the shoulder rest no there is a curvature here going down no? must be put it like this okay like this putting the shoulder rest on the body yeah so this is the ideal part on how to put the shoulder rest no the curve the curve must be what going through there no? because it will flap here no? okay over here you can see it so from my you know uh, okay um, on this portion this is gonna be the left part and this is the right part no? so the curved part is the left the right is the straight slide down okay so that's the way you put it it's not available in shop so how to um, how to handle the violin without any uh, pressure or stress like this try to uh, do a knocking thing I knock I push it like that but be careful huh? you can you can use the uh, uh, you can practice this to, to your bed, no? Suddenly it, it will fall accidentally. Someone will catch it, no? Or you, you have an instinct to catch it. So be careful, no? Other one is the one I taught you. Use this technique, no? It's like a worm going up, going down. And then, like that. Can you see it? And then the finger tapping finger tapping huh? finger tapping so fast huh? as much as possible so fast and then you can also do the one and three and two and four so like this okay this is good for double stopping triple stopping okay the fourth finger must be uh, practice always huh? Because uh, uh, it is much needed, no? Yes, no? Like extension. Or in the first position. You can pronate it over there, no? Your, your elbow when using four finger. So, well, our main goal is to be familiar in holding the violin properly without any stress. Okay? So, that's all. Uh, I hope you practice always your violin. Enjoy. enjoy uh, share this with your friends, uh, family who wants to study violin. Now, if any questions, you can uh, add to the comments below. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.